how do you extract numbers from a text string using formulas in Excel? Let me show you one way. Uh, so we have a bunch of uh, strings and we would like to extract numbers. And uh, one approach is to uh, first uh, unpack the text string so that each character is in a separate cell. How do you do that? Well, we have this wonderful sequence function, and the sequence function allows you to uh, fill a certain number of cells with sequential numbers. So let's say if I put five, uh, we get that. In this case, what we can do, we can fill uh, as many cells with, the, um, uh, with those numbers as uh, we have characters in, in the text stream. We have another function called len, and uh, once you use len, uh, you can fill as many characters, you can fill as many sequential numbers as you have in the text string. Let me get rid of a few of these. So now this text string has 10 characters and the sequence function fills um, um, you know, 10 digits, sequential digits. Now, what uh, the sequence function returns is called a dynamic array, right? So the formula is in a single cell, but the results are spilling into the neighboring cells. And then we can use the sequence results as the mid, uh, for the mid function. And I'm gonna type mid, and mid uh, is extracting one or more characters from a text string, starting with a specified character. So the first argument for the mid function is the string itself. And the second argument is the starting number. Now we have the sequence here, so we can use all of those one, two, three, four, five, and so on uh, as starting numbers. I'm gonna click on that. And to reference a dynamic array, I will add the hashtag. And uh, I need to extract only one, one character. So I'm gonna type one here. This is how many characters you want to extract. And now I got all of these characters lined up <clears throat> Uh, using the sequence function. Now, how do we test? How do we know if it's a number or not a number? Um, in one of my previous videos, uh, I was showing you that you can take the value and multiply it by one, and that would be one way to get an error or a result, right? So, or a number. So if you multiply a number by one, you get the number itself. If you multiply a text string by one or text character uh, that is not a number, then you get an error message. Another way to do this is to, um, I am going to get rid of that, uh, is to use the minus minus operator. So that will also look at a value and it will return uh, if it's a number, it will return the number itself. If not, it will, uh, I'm gonna use the uh, hashtag, C3 hashtag, it will return the uh, an error, like the value error. So the same idea, however you do that, but this is a calculation that is uh, giving you the logic to extract the value if it's a number and ignore the value if it's an error. Now, there are different ways to approach this, but one, uh, example here is to use the if error function. So if error is normally used for catching an error in a calculation and then returning an alternative result. Uh, but here we can use, okay, so if this is an error, then display nothing like that. Uh, what this uh, formula will do, I need to put the hashtag also because I want to reference the entire dynamic array. What it will do, it will return nothing instead of an error, and it will return the number if it's not an error, right? So if it's not an error, show me what it is. If it's an error, show me an empty cell. And then all you need to do is use something like text join, uh, and uh, text join requires a delimiter. You can do double quote, double quote as a delimiter. And after that, you can use true. Double quote, double quote means there's no delimiter basically an empty string, empty uh, empty uh, string as a delimiter. Uh, true means include empty uh, cells or not, uh, which probably wouldn't matter in this case, but uh, just use true just in case. And uh, we are going to text join or combine the values in this dynamic array. 
And here you go. Uh, so now we arrived, taking through all of the calcul calculations, we arrived at this one number that is extracting all the digits from here. Of course, we don't need uh, any of these. We can uh, integrate, consolidate everything into one calculation. I'm going to do it quickly. I'm going to take first the sequence calculation, copy it, control C, escape. And I'm going to uh, replace the B3 reference with the sequence calculation. Now, before I press enter, I will copy this entire uh, number and then, I mean, entire uh, formula and then press enter. And I will replace this reference with that formula. I'm going to copy this entire formula, including the minuses, copy it, press enter, and I will incorporate it into this formula instead of D3. And now I'm going to take this one, copy it, press enter, the enter key, and I will replace the E3 reference with that entire calculation, control V. Now uh, all of these are, are not necessary because now all of these calculations are built into the main formula. So technically I can get rid of all of these columns and I get my results and I can copy the formula down and it is extracting uh, numbers, digits only from all of these uh, text strings. Very easy and uh, I hope it gives you an idea. Uh, there are other uh, types of logic you can apply to that, but uh, this is a pretty cool um, technique using the dynamic array functions. Uh, if you like it, then like it before you move on to enjoy the next uh, video.